Today, I got back my ghost rare blue eyes from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another epic grading video and today I got back my two ghost rare blue eyes that we graded from Ghost from the Past 2. But before we get into it, I have a giveaway. And speaking of Ghost from the Past 2, we will be giving away another display box of Ghost from the Past 2. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about the grades in this PSA video. I'm hoping that they're really good. A little nervous, this is a pretty big sub. Now let's hop into the pre-grade and see what I thought they were going to get. All right, guys, let's check out our first card, which is Serpent Knight Dragon First Edition. This card, I believe, we pulled at some point recently. The surface looks incredible. Centering is not completely perfect, but it's pretty nice corners look really nice oh yeah i've been delaying sending these a little bit just because i keep forgetting wow back is absolutely immaculate in terms of the surface uh top left corner not 100 percent like super like minty but it is very nice that one looks good i mean honestly these all look pretty good this card in my opinion should get a psa 10 i'm gonna predict psa 10 i think it should be a psa 10 you never know but i'm gonna go with prediction psa 10 on this guy i think it should get that Next, we have another Secret Rare Thousand Dragon First Edition. I almost sent this, and I think I saw something wrong with it. Let's see if we can figure it out. I think it might have been on the surface, and I took a microfiber to it, and it actually really helped, so that should uh, make that a little bit easier. In terms of, like, the grade, it shouldn't be too bad. It was, like, down here, I think, but it looks like it's gone for the most part. That's nice. Back surface is really nice. Pretty incredible. Corners, I didn't check on the front. They look uh, pretty good there. There's a little bit of whiting right there, if you guys see that. But that might be the only little spot. Front corners look good. Yeah, honestly, this card looks really, really nice. I mean, the centering's not completely perfect on it. With the little white spot in that, I'm going to guess a 9. I think it should get at least a 9, though. Like, it's still a really, really minty card, other than that one white spot. But I think, honestly, it could escape with the 10. Because you guys saw, I did have a little bit of edge wear on one of my 10s recently. So, it is possible, if maybe they miss it, that you could get a 10 on that. All right, next one, we have our first Ghost from the Past card. Or Ghost from the Past 2 that we're going to grade. Actually, I don't think we ever graded any Ghost from the Past 1. So, this might be the first one in general. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. This is the second one we pulled i remember it being pretty nice the uh the centering is actually pretty good the edging on these like they're not completely perfect but it's not too bad corners look pretty good i've seen some of these that have not looked that good in gotten 10 so i think this surface is pretty nice i don't think the foil shift will really affect it but i could be wrong surface is actually super clean for this one you guys see there's not really any of that scuffing that's normally on there maybe a, okay there's a tiny bit right there so we'll see how much that matters we've got uh, that corners look pretty good and honestly, that's about it. That tiny bit of scuffing right there that you can't really see in certain angles. So that might be the only thing wrong with this card. I think it does have a chance at a PSA 10. And uh, but I'm going to go with nine because of that scuffing. I do think that it is a legitimate 10 candidate, though. And the next one we have is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And yes, it does have those little foil dots in the foil. But I have seen 10s get this. So I don't think that they actually care about that because it's like embedded in the foil. It's not like a scratch or anything like that. So I think we have an OK chance, you know, because of those. I don't think those are really the biggest deal we have a uh the corners look pretty good on this card centering is pretty good for the most part really good for this set because it was pretty rough a lot of them way oc service is super clean i honestly think that this has a really good chance at a 10 a little bit of that scuffing so if anything that would be the reason it gets a nine the little scuffing there i'm gonna predict psa nine because i'm a little bit pessimistic i do think it has a shot at the 10 though so let's see what happens i'm really hoping for it and if that one doesn't get a 10 we do have one other one so let's see if this one's a little bit better or not i'm not really sure the surface also has those little the circular dots which seem to be just a thing for the blue eyes corners look pretty good centering is pretty amazing on this card i mean centering was awesome on these cards surface on the foil for the most part was amazing on these blue eyes back surface i mean a little bit of that scuffing there but it's not too too bad we're gonna see how it affects it but the corners all look pretty nice this card overall i think is pretty sick i think it does have a chance at a 10 i'm gonna go with nine on this one as well though so i'm just hoping one of these two can grab a 10 be pretty amazing to have one of these in psa 10 next we have a faded first edition summon skull this is one i got in the faded collection we have yet to grade any of these cards this card is extremely nice scenery is insane surface looks amazing i'm just hoping they don't knock it down for being faded but the surfaces are insane like insanely clean corners look good centering looks good i mean overall this card is absolutely incredible if this is not a 10 i don't know what it is the only thing i think honestly is the fading which is shouldn't count off in my opinion i don't think it should so i'm predicting psa 10 for this because the card looks absolutely insane i hope that it gets a 10 and i think it should and finally 
the other summon skull. This is the one that I pulled out of a blister. Go check that video out. That was an inc incredible video. It was a thousand video special. This was a very clean copy as well. So check this out. Surface looks amazing. I'm hoping that they don't do something weird because one's faded and one's not and give like one it's in and one like an eight or something stupid like that. I think that both of these are very good candidates. That top left corner looks uh, pretty good. Top right looks pretty good. Bottom right looks pretty good. And bottom left. So overall, these are pretty slick. I mean, pretty nice stuff right here. Overall, I think this is a really, really nice card. Centering is pretty good on it. It's the slightest bit warped, but like that should not matter. I think that this should also be a PSA 10. I'm predicting two PSA 10 summon skulls, one faded and one not. We'll see if I'm right. I'm excited to see what these get. Now let's check out what we actually got. All right, we're back, and now it's time to see what they actually got. So I predicted some pretty good grades on these, so I'm hoping that we did pretty good. I didn't actually double-check what I predicted, but I remember that they were all really, really nice, so let's see. Okay, we have the box that is opened up. It was in another box this time, which is unusual. Normally, they don't do that unless there's, like, two different boxes, so I don't know. They went with they went with two this time. Okay, that's the front. We don't want to spoil anything. All right, I took them out of the sleeve so that we can see everything super well. I don't know what order these are in, so we're just, we're just going to figure it out. First, we have a... Okay, that corner looks good. Those look nice. Bottom right looks pretty nice. Pretty crispy. Or maybe, is there anything? Maybe a tiny bit of whitening right there. Let's see what this card is. Oh, it's a ghost rare red eyes. I forgot we sent the red eyes in as well. Top left corner looks pretty good. Top right looks pretty good. Bottom right, pretty good. Bottom left. I don't remember if there was scuffing. I'm assuming that there wasn't too much. There is foil shifting. We're going to see what they think about that. That might be a, a detractor in terms of PSA. I'm not really sure because I've never sent anything with foil shift before because it's never been this common until like this specific set. There hasn't been like foil shift. And if there was, it was like super valuable. But because this was so common, it wasn't really like extra valuable or anything. All right. So there's not a lot to see your service looks pretty good let's just see what we got on the red eyes ah oh a mint nine okay so i wonder if centering is not completely perfect here as you guys can see it's pretty thick there versus the bottom i wonder if the foil shifting had anything to do with it or if it's just because of like centering and maybe some surface or something like that psa 9 not too bad definitely we're looking for the 10 but we'll take it i'm hoping that this sub isn't a bunch of nines but we're about to find out what it is so let's see i don't know if this is the blue eyes or not we have two blue eyes i think top left corner looks good top right corner is pretty good i like a very smidge of whitening but not much bottom right looks great bottom left looks great back surface looks pretty clean from what i can tell this is probably a blue eyes i would say yeah it's a blue eyes white dragon so we have top left top right and even after these ghosts we have some crazy old school cards like the summon skulls so i'm pretty excited for this surface looks pretty good it's time to see if they care about these dots do these dots matter to psa i'm not really sure so it looks like we're pretty good condition overall i mean centering is pretty nice on this card i mean i think i might have predicted a 10 let's see oh a nine i figured it was a nine i don't really know why though i mean the centering may centering is good i mean i think it's within the range uh I maybe the dots maybe it's the foil dots it's got to be those right because service look what is this down here i think that's on the case but surface looks pretty good overall i don't know another mint nine still a cool card but definitely looking for those psa 10s for sure next one this is i, I assume the other blue eyes so corner also looks good corner also looks good corner corner all right all look pretty good surface looks why does this feel like not a blue eyes oh it isn't it's an old school card serpent knight dragon this is the one we pulled out of a pack okay how's the centering on this card slightly off that way pretty nice card overall though top left top right very cool bottom right bottom left yeah centering is definitely not perfect on this card i would assume that that is probably going to be the downfall of this card but the, yeah the sir the back surface i was like this looks like an old school card let's see what it got I got a nine. Okay, so this is, looks like a nine sub so far. Three nines in a row. That one's pretty reasonable, though, because the centering is definitely off. So let's see about this next one. Maybe this is the blue eyes. Top left looks pretty good. I mean, there's like minuscule whitening there, but not anything that makes it a nine. Maybe a little bit of whitening there. Okay, pretty nice. Back service, super clean. Definitely the blue eyes. Yep, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left surfaces look great i mean if there's the only thing is these dots in the foil and like i've seen tens with this so far out of ghost from the past so it looks great and of course it's a nine so uh yeah i guess i guess it's the uh maybe i mean there's slight whitening there okay there's a little bit a little bit of whitening there i guess that's it or maybe it's the dots so no tens on our blue eyes unfortunately pretty upsetting okay upsetting's a strong word maybe a little bit sad i'll say that so now we have two summon skulls left and is it two summon skulls i can't remember no the ultis were in a different sub oh what is this what is this ding right here i don't know there's whitening there what card is this hopefully this isn't the summon skull i don't remember that thousand dragon oh okay actually 
Actually, I think that was there. Okay, it's the Thousand Dragon. Good. Okay, I was like, oh no, oh no. Yeah, okay, so that I think was there. And I think that was really the major issue with the card was it had that bottom corner issue. I'm not remembering. I forgot this card was in here. Okay, centering looks a little... I mean, we, we might be looking at an eight with that corner. And this centering's really not that bad, actually. But with that corner, it's possible. We'll see. Eight to nine. But with all these nines being super clean, I would expect this is an eight. Oh, got a nine. Okay. So this is definitely a weaker nine than the others. I think these are super strong nines. Like none of these really have significant issues except Serpent Knight Dragon is off-centered. This one has a corner issue and is a little bit off-center, but still a really nice secret rare first edition card. I'm happy with that. And the final two, these cards are absolutely incredible. Summon Skull. I pulled one of them. The other one's faded. So I'm a little bit worried about how they'll treat it, but these cards were in great shape. Very nice. Corners look pretty good. Pretty nice service looks. Look at that old school Metal Raiders back. You can just tell. Here's the one I pulled. So this is the one we pulled out of a pack recently. Go check that video out if you've missed it. Insane video. Like absolutely awesome to pull this out of a blister myself. Corners look pretty good. Service looks incredible. Centering looks good. This should be a PSA 10 in my opinion. I don't know. I think I actually predicted a 10 because I thought it would be. Let's see. Oh, why is it a nine? Do we literally just have all nines? I think we just had a sub with all nines. Because, like, if this one's not a 10, then the next one's not going to be a 10, right? Oh, my goodness. These cards are literally incredible condition. How is this a nine? How is this a nine? I don't understand. Okay, look at that corner. Is there anything going on there? I don't know. I don't think that that little line looking thing is anything, actually. Man, this card's nice. How This is like the strongest nine of all time. Uh, I think I send the pre-grade. If it's not a 10, I'll be upset. And I am a little upset. That's a nine, unfortunately, I guess. And uh, the final card. Maybe we can get one 10. I doubt it, though. It's faded. So you guys know how that goes. Very tough to get those. So this back corner. I mean, this one's definitely not 100% perfect, but it's a pretty nice corner. That one looks even better. That one looks... Yeah, they're not complete. The corners are not completely perfect, but they're pretty nice. Surface looks insane as usual. All right, front. Oh my goodness. Check that card out. Woo, that looks good. Super faded. You'll love to see it, which probably means it's going to get a six or something. Corners look pretty nice. And the surface looks amazing. The surface looks so good on all these cards. Just really, really nice. Uh, centering, I think... It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty nice. So let's see. Our last open of 10. <sighs> What? An eight? Tell me why. Tell me why this is an eight. Please give me an explanation. Huh? Is it because it's faded? Yes, that is exactly why. This and my gate guardian, that's a six. Why in the world would this be an eight? Let's check this out. Faded is not damage. Tons of Metal Raiders cards are faded. It's not like somebody put them in the sun. All the Metal Raiders cards. There's no way. Come on. How is this card an eight? I have a full Metal Raiders faded set, and I have not sent it to PSA, and this is why, because they can't grade them. They always give them terrible grades. I thought they'd gotten over that, but apparently not. If it gets like this color, like this yellowy color, they just give it awful grades. If it's like slight fade, they, they might miss it, but when it looks like this, they always give it terrible grades. Well, that's an unfortunate sub. Not a lot to be excited about for this one. A bunch of nines, and then the coolest looking card that is in minty condition gets an eight. So yeah, that's an unfortunate sour PSA return. It's been a while since we've had one of these. Usually, we've been pretty happy with what we've gotten but uh no tins and one eight that was mint condition so let me know what you guys think in the comments i know a lot of you guys don't like psa in general but i do like psa except when it comes to stuff like this with p with faded i don't know let me know in the comments and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one appreciate you guys watching if you guys enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deonda, Stanley, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, John Noland, and Anna Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.